Hey, good morning, everybody. Today, for the second time, because some dumbass, namely me, deleted all his project files for this, so instead of uploading them, so I have to do the video a second time. But that's cool because I like making videos for you guys. So, today we are going to be talking about um, the voltage reference, the analog voltage reference for the Arduino. And we're going to be talking about specifically the Uno and the Nano in this case because it's a little bit different for the Mega. So what we have here is just a little bit of a test rig. And let's zoom in and I will uh, show you and tell you about what's going on here. All right, so first of all, here's the Nano. And it is just hooked up via I squared C to this OLED display. Nothing special going on there. We got five volts going to the five volt rail, ground going to the ground rail. Now over here, we have a 5K potentiometer standing in for an analog sensor. It's hooked to the five volt rail, it's hooked to the ground rail, and the wiper is coming over to A0. So basically that's it. Now, just so that we're separated here I've got a uh, AA battery providing power to our sensor all grounds in the circuit are connected together now let's talk about the analog reference the analog reference for the Nano and the Uno is 5 volts so if we give this the, the chip anywhere from you know 5 to say 12 volts through the USB port or through the uh, voltage import, the onboard voltage regulator and the chip are going to control it at 5 volts. The analog reference voltage is 5 volts. So whatever comes in through the analog ports is going to be compared against that 5 volt reference, which using the 10 bit analog to digital converter has a range of 0 to 1023. So if your sensor, and in our case, the potentiometer, can output up to five volts, then you will take full advantage. However, in this case, our sensor can only output a maximum of 1.2 to 1.5 volts, because that's all AA battery can put out. So when we power up the circuit, I'm going to zoom back in here. All right, with the pot all the way down, we're seeing a reading of zero. And we slowly turn it up. It's about halfway. We're seeing a reading of 162. We'd expect to be seeing a reading of 512, right? Well, remember, only 1.2 volts being measured against the five volt reference. So at full power, We're seeing a maximum of 360 to, you know, 365 out of 1023. You know, that's barely more than a third of the sensitivity of our sensor. Well, by changing what the analog voltage reference is, we can increase the sensitivity. Let's go over to the computer and take a look, and then we'll come back here and look at two more examples. All right, here is our reference page from www.arduino.cc, and we're looking at the analog reference function. And it tells you it configures the voltage used for analog input. And it is the value used at the top of the input range. Now, if you don't type anything in, you go to default. That's where we just generally leave it. We don't even type in analog reference default, we just leave it blank. That is the 5 volt reference. Oops. So everything, like I said, is balanced against that 5 volt reference. Now we also have internal. And if you do that, we get 1.1 volts on the 168 or the 328. So, you know, the older versions of the Nanos and the Unos and then the R3s. 
and then we also have an external reference which is the voltage applied to the a ref pin now the, the mega has a couple more but we're only talking about the uno and the nano here in this case now down here you have to be very particular about this don't use anything less than zero volts so no negative voltages and nothing more than five volts or you will fry the chip okay and you must set the analog reference to external before calling an external read or once again you will let the smoke out and that's no good so let's go to our sketch here and there's nothing special here this is just the include so we can use the OLED this is more OLED stuff we set one variable called ADC now down in setup here we have our analog reference set for default you could leave that line off it wouldn't make a shit and bit of difference then we have some OLED stuff here and this is the only thing the program is doing it's doing a digital read and making ADC the value of that digital read and then it prints it out so we've seen what it does with the analog reference at default right all right I'm gonna comment that out and we are going to change the analog reference to internal yeah my OCD gets the better of me sometimes okay so now we will be balancing against a 1.1 volt ref alright let's go back over to the PC and have a look All right, folks, so now we have set our voltage reference to internal. So it's using that internal 1.1 volt reference. And it's kind of fluctuating here a little because we just uh, switched it over. And it tells you in the Arduino reference, the first few readings may be a little unstable. So we are now applying our 1.2 volts maximum possible output from the battery versus the internal 1.1 volt from the Arduino so now let's see at the at the bottom here we're fluctuating between like 0 and 1 and 0 and 8 so now at halfway we're seeing 500 and you know 50 and if we turn it all the way up well of course we max out because you know 1.2 is greater than 1.1 but you see we have a quarter of a turn left so while this is good and gives us more sensitivity we're actually losing the top end of the sensitivity here so that is what's happening with the internal reference now what we're going to do is switch over to an external reference and for that, we're going to take the 5 volts from this rail here, push it through this blue-white LED, which has a forward voltage of 3 to 3.2 volts. And we're going to grab it right here. And we're going to send it over to the uh, reference pin. So now our reference is going to be 1.8 to 2 volts. And let's see what effect that has. So let me upload the code and I'll be right back. All right, I've uploaded the external voltage reference code. And well, I put a piece of tape over top of this LED so it doesn't blind the camera. Those blue white LEDs are incredibly bright. Here's where I plugged in the external voltage reference and it plugs in there on the A ref pin. So now our, in, our, our external reference that we're balancing our sensor against is about two volts. So you see our low end is reading around 40. We take it up to about halfway. We're getting about 600. And we take it all the way up, maxed out, look at that. Maxed out and coming down. We are now taking full advantage 
of the output of the sensor, which increases its resolution, its sensitivity. Unless you really take advantage of what the sensor can give you. So now you know how to use the three uh, references, default, internal, and external. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you really should, because then you'll be notified when the new videos come out. And they come out every day, around 5 p.m. Eastern. So subscribe already. What the heck are you waiting for?